All right, thought I'd get another video up, uh, even though I just did one yesterday or the day before. I'll start this one out with, uh, this is the male and three females of the uh, full blacks with the big ears. Let's we'll see if he can get closer so they can actually see. All right, he doesn't like us, or me. Now it turns out that the uh, couple of the females have developed the extended dorsal is interesting the uh, males I can, really can't tell the male seems to have a normal dorsal wherever he's hiding but anyway the uh, reason why I'm starting a video out with these guys and gals is I did uh, as Renee had said actually I gave them a, a week of uh, deworming flakes I use the uh, everything aquatic uh, quad flake because I just wasn't getting fry that I could find. I don't know if they were eating them or if they just weren't having them. There you can see how big the peck fins are. And so I figured out, uh, let me, you know, like Renee said, let me give it a shot because you only get so long with these fish and these are about three and a half, four months old. So not getting fry out of uh, four months time is not good and really wanted to nip that in the bud and we'll see what happens so it's not a big uh, lead up or build up to saying there's fry because they just came off the uh, medicated flake on friday and today is tuesday night wednesday morning so there can't be anything yet plus i'm really not sure if you uh had fed medicated flakes for a while and the females had viable fry developing in their system if you'd really want to raise those fry if they had them because they're probably going to be something wrong with them so we'll see i don't know if they had worms i never really saw any evidence of that i just kept seeing no fry there's a pretty good view of how big those peck fins are. And he has the, I guess like a high dorsal. It's not like a parallelogram type like the IFGA ones. So there's three females in here. Uh, as you can see, two of them have filled up pretty well over how they looked uh, last week. So that's a good sign. And uh, we'll see how things go. Yeah, I really messed up that E.T. joke from uh, in that last video. I was supposed to say, what's E.T. short for? And then say, because he's got teeny tiny legs. So that's actually bearable. The other way I told it was terrible. But hey, I don't get very many of them right, so uh, there we go. All right, let me move on to... Uh, these are the pingus I got from my friend Tony Anderson. I also put them through the deworming protocol with the uh, quad flake because I think I had them for two months, I think, maybe a little bit longer. And I wasn't getting any fry out of them at all. The females are really filling up. So I don't know if they ate their fry as soon as they were born or what, but I still have the same five fish he sent me, which are doing great, but there weren't any fry in the whole time, so figured I'd do that too. And they just came off the flake uh, regimen on Friday as well. So I marked down on the calendar so that three weeks uh, from now, I put them all on the deworming thing again and what, the reason for that is so that if there was any eggs of any potential parasites inside the fish, that you would get uh, them as they kind of hatch and develop. Not a pretty sight. Kind of reminds me of the Alien movie. But we haven't had any uh, stomach uh, breakouts here. So it's amazing because these fish are huge and they appear to be gravid. Uh, just not getting anything fry-wise out of them. They look great. Very happy with them. 
So we'll see what happens in a few weeks. I figure I'll update then. And uh, these are a little bit different than my regular line of pingus. They're more of a blue, light blue in the front, the males, versus uh, my other ones are like a really, really dark blue. So someone that was very prepared would naturally show the other pingu line next, but hey, that's not me. I'm uh, going to show some other fish next. So there you go. And the other thing I would uh, also say is, uh, what do you call a Roman with a cold? Julius Sneezer. Julius Sneezer. That's eh, not even. That's not even funny. I don't know what to do with these jokes. All right. So next up, these are. Uh, this is a tank with the. It's kind of like a stained glass. These are the uh, Galaxy Guppies, also from my friend Tony, and they've developed really well. This was the first drop of fry I had gotten. I do have one female that's uh, pretty cool. She's got the blau thing going on, this one. You can see she's a different uh, shade, different color than the other females. Let's see if I can uh, actually get them both on here. Okay, here's that one. And maybe one of the other ones will zip in the picture. There we go. Magic. So these are cool looking. I get a couple of males that have like a reddish tail and others that get a bluish. So these would almost be a multi if I get a third color. Kind of have like blue and black in the tail. Uh, the one with the red, that may actually get enough of a third color to qualify as a multi. But then there's really no blue or white in there. So really probably not. And these are the adults. So that's the male, obviously. That's uh, the female. And I have a few fry in there growing out. So that's some fish I really got to move. But I'll get around to that. And uh, what... Uh, Alright, I wrote it down because I don't want to screw it up. What the penguins eat for lunch? Ice burgers. Ice burgers. It's got to be the best joke in like uh, 17 videos. I actually like that one. Alright, I'll add some more stuff and I'll be back. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I uh, just came down here and found a bunch of uh, fry in with uh, really fat females and the three quarter blacks. So that's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of them in there. I got to get them out because uh, they're tiny and I don't want them to get eaten. Because they're very nice fish. So very cool. It's always good to see some more babies in the tanks. Uh, I think uh, I got a few fry in with the uh, Roebuck Red breeders I set up. And I have to get them out, but I think there's only two in there somewhere. All right, they're making me a liar. Somewhere there's a couple of fry in there. But they're nice fish. So the one male that was a little iffy when the tail wasn't liking how the tail was looking at first, uh, which is this one. And very nice fish, but I gave it a little bit of time with the tail to grow right. Uh, there's a couple of fry. See that? I'm not lying. I like his dorsal. I like the color, of course. But I'm not really liking how the tail's developing. It's not a delta tail. So uh, he's going to come out of the tank today. Uh, and I'm just going to use him in a couple of crosses. That's kind of the, the best way to do it. Because it's too nice of a fish to get rid of. And I really don't want to sell calls to people if I can avoid it. But just not happy with how that tail's coming out. All right, I'll add some more stuff. Hang in there. All right, welcome back to another video. This uh, will just be some random stuff. Uh, this is a cross, well, it's a snail. Cross I set up of uh, some half black pastel males, two of them. And I had two uh, blue delta females, but apparently one of them kicked the bucket. That's the original three fish. And there is a bunch of fry. I'm leaving the fry in 
more over here somewhere because uh, I'm gonna want to see how the fry turn out and uh, once I start seeing some males and some color development yeah, I'll decide what I'll end up doing but I was aiming for either a lighter blue uh, half black uh, like a pastel with a bluish tint or even a light blue half black uh, light black half black blue if that makes sense a light blue half black blue so we'll see what I end up getting besides the snail there was about 15 fry in here not sure where they're hiding but uh, trying to get a close up on the males very nice uh, no problems with these I would like to have them to grow out a little bit more so I can see what I'm going to end up with these were just pulled out of the half black pastel tanks because I had too many males in there and the blue delta female I just figured yeah what the heck just try that cross so all right I'll add some more stuff all right I will wrap up the video with uh, what's left of the Santa Claus uh, guppies I called it down to four of them uh, this male is a little skinny but uh, color wise except for not having enough half black in the body or partial black it's closest to the representation of what these things should look like and these females uh, there's two of them and there's a third one hiding in the plants they have a white or a cream colored tail so I put them in their own small tank I'm going to move them into a larger tank uh, in a couple of days as they adjust. So uh, the other ones I kept had no black in the body and uh, the dorsal on the male uh, was red, uh, which isn't, which is probably correct because I think these are supposed to have a red dorsal capped around uh, in white as well as the tail. So I haven't given up on these yet. I'm going to try to get the line to function again, but really only going to devote one tank to it. So it's just going to be colony bred until I see uh, something I like out of it. So, all right, I'll leave you with one last joke. What do you call a bee that can't make up his mind? A maybe, a maybe. Oh, pretty much just like this video, a maybe. Yeah, all right. Uh, the other thing I did actually watch, which was very good, it was the Svengoolie version of The Blob, which had Steve McQueen in it. It's from like 1958. And uh, I don't know, I could have sworn I saw that movie sometime in the past, but uh, with my mind, I didn't remember a single thing about it. So maybe I never saw it. But having this Svengoolie stuff uh, in between was pretty funny. So I actually enjoyed it. Uh, I think there's one or two remakes of it. So I'll have to check them out too. Maybe that's what I saw. So, all right, have a good one. Stay safe, uh, stay away from the crazy people and uh, see you in the next video.